Number 64. Calculate the formal charge of chlorine in the molecules. Cl2, BeCl2, and ClF5. Okay, so we did a couple questions of formal charges already, so if you want a more thorough in-depth, you could go back and see those if you're on the playlist, but there's basically only two things that you need to know for formal charge. You need to know how to first write out a Lewis structure. And you need to do that perfectly because if you don't know how to draw the Lewis structure and if you get that part of the question wrong, then the formal charge would probably be wrong. But that's okay. We have tons of problems that we've done already starting at number 40 in this chapter. So if you you feel un, you know not strong in your Lewis structures, go back. I promise you that we will get the, through them together and you will get better at Lewis structures. So for this um, question, I'm going to assume that we know how to do Lewis structures. The second thing is then we just have to apply the formal charge formula. That's it. So write the Lewis structure properly, do the formula, and voila, you have the charge. Now, there's a formula in the textbook that they give you. I don't really like that, that formula. It's a little bit too, I don't know, mushy. So um, I make my own, and that's this formula here. I think it's pretty easy and much easier than what they give you in the textbook. So let's get started. So for, I'm just going to call Cl2A, this is B, and this is C. So for A, Cl2. So if you want, pause the video, try to see how strong you are in your Lewis structures, and then you can see if it checks out with my um, Lewis structure. I'm not going to specifically teach you that here because I'm assuming you guys know it, but the Lewis structure for Cl2 should be two chlorines attached with a single bond, and then three lone pairs around each chlorine, or six lone electrons, and that's that. Now, we only have to find the formal charge for chlorine. There's only chlorine in this molecule, but the chlorines look exactly the same, right? This chlorine has one single bond and three lone pairs, and this chlorine has one single bond and three lone pairs. So no matter which one you do, whatever the formal charge you get for that atom, you will just say that it's the same for the other one. So let's give it a shot. Formal charge for chlorine. You always start with your valence electrons, which can be found on the periodic table of that atom. In this case, it's chlorine. So look for chlorine. Chlorine's over here. Chlorine has a valence electron of seven. So you start off with seven minus how many bonds does that chlorine have? Well, this chlorine has only one bond. So it'd be seven minus one minus how many dots? Lone electrons, right? So if I look at chlorine, how many dots does that chlorine have? One, two, three, four, five, six. So you would subtract six. So seven minus one minus six is zero. So I can say that this formal charge for the chlorine is zero. And since they're exactly the same, the formal charge for this chlorine is also zero. And what formal charge will tell you is how stable that atom is which will lead you to how stable the molecule or the compound is. Less charge is the better. So since literally there's no charge here, this is a pretty stable compound. So that's the answer for A. Both chlorines have zero formal charge, no charge. B. B-E-C-L-2. Okay, so Lewis structure comes first. Pause the video if you want to, and then check. But it should be two chlorines bound singly to BE, and then the six lone electrons, just like that. Now, they're only asking for the formal charge of chlorine, so we don't even care about beryllium, right? We just care about these chlorines, and they're literally exactly the same. This chlorine has one bond and three lone pairs. This chlorine has one bond and three lone pairs. So whatever you find out for one of them, the other one will be the exact same formal charge. But hey, in A, it was basically the same thing, right? This chlorine had one bond, three lone pairs. This chlorine has one bond and three lone pairs. So does it really matter if it's bound to a beryllium or bound to a chlorine? Absolutely not. So we actually know the formal charge this formal charge of chlorine would be zero. 
And if you did the math, it would be the same exact thing. You would still get 7 minus 1 minus 6. And that means that this one, formal charge of chlorine, would be 0. So there you go. We already did that one in A. So no matter what, no matter what atom the chlorine is bound to, if it has one bond and six dots or one bond and three lone pairs, it's always going to be a formal charge of zero. So that gets rid of these two. Now we have to do C. And I'm going to just erase, I guess I'll erase B, because I just need a little bit more room for this guy. This one's going to be pretty big. So I'll say C down here. Now you have chlorine in the middle surrounded by five fluorines. So one, two, we'll say three, four, five. They're all single bound. And then actually you have one lone pair here. And each fluorine will have the three lone pairs. So I'm just kind of figuring this out. Um, just so that you guys can match your Lewis structure. This would be the proper structure for ClF5, ClF5. Once again, we only care about the formal charge of chlorine in this example. We don't care about the fluorines. There's only one chlorine here, so whatever the formal charge is, that's what it is. Formal charge of chlorine is valence electrons comes first, so valence is 7. So 7 minus number of bonds. How many bonds does this chlorine have? Well, it has one, whoop, one, two, three, four, five. Cool. Minus number of dots, which is the lone pairs. How many dots are in this chlorine? One, two. So minus two. Seven minus five minus two is zero. So there it goes again. Now you can see that chlorine, in the case up above here, had a formal charge of zero, it was stable with one bond and three lone pairs or six dots. But then chlorine could also be zero if it has five bonds and two lone electrons or one lone pair. So I think this question was just showing you that it could look different but still have the same formal charge. But 64 is done. All right. So this one was fun. This one was quick. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. And yeah, if you want to support the channel, click that subscribe button. I thank you for that. Tell your classmates or your friends who are taking chem. I know chemistry could be hard and you're going to need this if you guys are taking standardized tests like MCAT and the DAT and all that. So we got you. We got you guys. All right. Thank you so much. See you all in the next question. Have an awesome day.